If you have a push to Dobsonian telescope and Argo Narvis digital setting circles, this video will help you observe more deep sky objects via a Bluetooth connection with the Sky Safari Planetarium app. Sky Safari displays thousands of dim and distant galaxies and many other objects not listed in Argo Narvis. To observe these objects, you first need to use Argonavis to locate a nearby NGC or IC object and then star hop to your desired target. Star hopping works, but it would be quicker to be able to push straight to these Sky Safari targets. Establishing a Bluetooth connection between Argonavis and Sky Safari would let you do that. Connecting a serial to Bluetooth adapter to the Argonavis allows it to talk to Sky Safari on a device such as a tablet that also has Bluetooth. The telescope remains a push to, but now it's much easier to get targets in the eyepiece. There are two ways to make a data connection between the Argonavis and a device running Sky Safari. The quickest and easiest way is via Wi Fi using the plug and play. SkyFi 3 Wi-Fi to serial adapter. This is the simple option. Another option, which this video focuses on, uses a Bluetooth to serial adapter made by Microchip. This option requires you to go to a bit more effort, but it works. Step 1. Ensure you have the correct serial cable for use with Yago Narvis. Argonavis will not function with all off-the-shelf serial cables. You need one wired specifically for the Argonavis pin configuration. The maker of Argonavis Wildcard Innovations sells these cables. Step 2. Purchase a microchip Bluetooth to serial adapter with male DB9 pin format. In this example, I've powered the adapter with a 9 volt battery. However, I plan to soon modify this to run off the same 12 volt battery I used to power the Argonavis, but a 9 volt battery is good for now. You now need to adjust some settings on the Argonavis, in Sky Safari and on the serial adapter. First you need to tell Argonavis which of its two serial ports the adapter will be connected to and what telescope it will drive. Power on Argonavis spin the dial to set up, click enter and spin the dial to serial, click enter. Spin the wheel to serial 1, click enter, spin the wheel to board, click enter, spin the wheel to display board equals 9600, click enter. Spin the wheel again to select serial 1, then start up and click enter. Spin the wheel to select mead, click enter. So we've told Argo Narvis that when it communicates via serial port 1, it will be talking to a Mead LX200 telescope with a board rate of 9600. We use these settings even though we're actually using a push to Dobsonian. The Mead LX200 just uses a simple industry standard data communications format that the Sky Safari can also be set to. We now make the corresponding setup in Sky Safari. Open settings in Sky Safari, click on telescope, under Equipment Selection, select Mead LX200 and then Mount Type Alt As Go To, even though the Dobsonian scope is really pushed to. The microchip serial Bluetooth adapter has four dip switches. Clicking a switch away from the connector switches a function on. Set switches 2 and 4 to on. Switch 2 now makes Argo Narvis a slave to Sky Safari. Switch 4 now ensures the adapter communicates at 9600 board to suit Argo Narvis. Now we're ready to get everything working. In this example I've made a simple box to protect the adapter, battery and cable from bumps and tangles. Insert the cable into serial port 1 on the Argo Narvis and power it on. Power on the serial adapter. Complete your normal Argo Narvis fix altitude reference and 2 star alignment procedure. Power on the device running Sky Safari, in this case a Lenovo Android tablet. Go into the device settings and open Bluetooth. Firefly 03AF should be listed. Click to connect and enter the default password which is 1234 
and OK. Firefly now lists as connected to the device. Open Sky Safari and click Scope. Click Connect. The Bluetooth adapter LED should soon start blinking amber to show the connection has been made. The Sky Safari display should also scroll to the last object selected in Argo Narvis. Argo Narvis and Sky Safari now share an alignment. You can now click on any object in Sky Safari and then click Go To and the push to directions will appear in the Argo Narvis screen. On future occasions when you set up your telescope you might need to repeat the Bluetooth password connection step to achieve a connection with your device. The adapter's default password remains 1234. Now you should be able to push to any object displayed in Sky Safari. The choices available are astronomical.